We got a dog. <laughs> His name is Blue! Oh gosh, he's still a puppy. He is about a year old, maybe younger than that, like eight months. We just got him two days ago. As you can tell, he has lots of energy, he wants to play all the time. He's only had one accident in the house so far, but we do have to train him to be, you know, respectful of our boundaries and the things that he's allowed to do and not allowed to do, but that's just like normal stuff. So this week, I'm taking you along on our very first week with our baby boy, Blue. Baby Blue. Mm -hmm. Corey and I both have never had our own dogs apart from the dogs that we had in our families growing up. So this is like a first time experience for all of us all around. So it's gonna be really cool to see later on to look back on. And if this helps you, if you wanna adopt a dog or if you have just adopted a dog and you wanna know what it's like to get acclimated, to having a dog, this video is for you. We also have a almost two year old. So we will see how this week goes. I'm very hopeful because he's a good boy, he's smart. It's not too hard for him to be trained to do the right thing. It's just a matter of being consistent, getting that schedule down and burning all of this energy that he just has endless amounts of. He's a bit, uh-uh, no biting. How's Blue doing? I'm good. He's good? Yeah. Oh, you got it. Blue has been a trip. I don't really know the proper way to discipline a dog when he's like barking at other dogs. I really don't know what I'm doing. I should research. I honestly feel like I'm a little bit over confident. <laughs> Of my ability to take them both out for a walk but I mean I have nobody's nobody's cried so far so that's good good boy good boy blue good boy good boy you lay down good boy baby don't give him We we're about to give Blue a bath for the first time because tomorrow he's getting neutered and after that I don't know when the next time we'll be able to bathe him and who knows how long it's been since, since he's had a bath so we're gonna do that. You wanna take a bath? You wanna get it? I've just been around so many in my life, but yeah. like, doesn't, it just, we definitely made our lives harder on ourselves by choosing a physical way. With like the stigma? The stigma of right restrictions. Yeah. Alright, other legs, back legs. Okay. Oh, not yet, okay. wait, not wait, yet, wait, not yet, not yet, not yet. We're not yeah. done yet. We're almost not done, done yet. We're almost done. That's what I'm saying. I was not tortured though. Well done, baby boo. Okay. Ah. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Good, Good baby. Good baby. 
for just being a top tier good boy. so sad for him. I tried to like make him feel special by taking him to the park with Corey yesterday and gave him chicken teriyaki last night as a treat. We gave him a nice bath. He's so soft now. You're so soft. I didn't know you could get softer. I'm sad that we have to do this to animals because there's too many. But I understand that it, it's better to do it this way. But it's just sad. Anyway, that's what we're about to go do. And then I'm gonna pick him up around two o'clock. Are you ready? A little OOTD before we go pick up blue. Um, sweater is vintage. I got it from the store called Rosewood. Um, they had a rummage set because they were moving shops. I used that pitching my beer. Um, my shorts are thrifted. They're a little big around the waist, so I did that, like, waist trick. I will link the video that I showed you this trick in the cards. Um, socks and these shoes, these, like, canvas sneakers. They're just really beat up. But I just felt like that's what I wanted to wear today. And it's supposed to be, like, 70 degrees right now, so that's why I'm wearing shorts and a sweater. I haven't done this combo yet this season. Let's go pick up Blue. <laughs> You know, I'm gonna spoil this dude so much. I just went into that dog store that's like right down the street from where he's at right now. First, I went in there for a dog bed and I knew I was gonna spend at least like, I don't know, I knew dog beds were kind of expensive and I like to shop local too. So we are investing in the best dog bed <laughs> ever. And we're not going to buy a new one until we absolutely need to. Hopefully this can last us at least a year or two. So I don't feel as guilty <laughs> buying him a $75 dog bed. But I just know he's going to be spoiled. <sighs> but he needs to be because he is in pain. <laughs> Poor boy. Um, but they actually called me earlier today to tell me that I can pick him up earlier, which is why I'm here a little bit earlier. Uh, yeah, so I haven't had lunch yet, so I'm just gonna drive through McDonald's and then I'm going to pick him up. And hopefully I won't have too much of a hard time getting him in the car. I think I'm gonna try to get him in the front seat, but maybe the back seat will be better. I'm not sure. Oh, let me show you what I got him. CBD Bites. They're pumpkin flavored because it's October and pumpkin's great for dogs. I got these not just because he's gonna be in pain and sore for the next few days, uh, but I also got it because he is a puppy still and so he's still learning how to like control his like 
energy. Um, so at times when he needs a little bit of help with that, or if we're gonna go on a car ride, because we do travel um, from Virginia Beach up to Richmond and back and forth a lot during the holidays, and he does not like the car. I mean, he doesn't mind the car once he's in the car, but it's not it's not his favorite thing to do and so with him and Cora in the car for two hours I just want to make sure that like we make it easy on him he's not stressed the entire time um and he can maybe he can sleep so I'm gonna give him these on those days when we are traveling because he'll be in the car for a while and he doesn't like the car that much I also got I also got him a couple of chew sticks because um he likes chewing on stuff but he doesn't have anything that's like edible to chew on he has like toys and treats like the small treats but not these things so I just got him two of them because I already ordered a bag of them but they haven't come in yet so I just got these in the meantime all right McDonald's and then we're gonna pick up our blue bear Corey's been calling him blue bear I think it's the cutest thing I call him blue bear baby blue bluey all depending on the vibe for that day. <laughs> mm. <laughs> and a Dr. Pepper. Sorry, it's dark over there. No, you're fine. Okay, thank there you. Go. you. You're welcome. Hey, I haven't vlogged yesterday. I didn't vlog yesterday and I didn't vlog today. It's already almost dinner time. Um, today I went thrifting, kind of just to look for like oh, pieces for like our Halloween costumes, um, Cora's birthday stuff. I also went to this um, craft store called Scrap RVA. I will put a link to their Facebook page or website if they have one in the description bar. But it's basically like a, it's a storefront where they collect used craft supplies and it's so, they have everything you could ever imagine. So if you're in the Richmond area and you need craft supplies, don't go to Michael's, don't go to, what else, I don't, AC Moore, don't go to them because like it's, it's easier to go there and it's easy because it's, it's accessible. But if you want to shop used, which I do most of the time, I will always shop used first. Um, Scrap Every Day is a great resource because they have everything. I got buttons, felt, elastic, they have fabric, they have glass, clay, any any kind of material you could ever think of they have. So definitely check that out. Um, I'm opening this scale that I thrifted today. It's branded as like Baby and Me, but like, and Motorola made it. I don't know. There are like six of them and they're all 10 bucks a piece. So we don't have a scale in our house. So I figured, why not, I guess. It's also compatible with an app on a phone, um, which I just thought was cool. There was really no point in me getting this. Like, I did not need this at all, but I got it anyway because I thought it was cool. <laughs> which I don't need to be spending on money on stuff that I just think are cool. But here we are, guys. Here we are. Look at him. He's sleeping. Um, he's been do he's been doing really well, actually. He's still a little frustrating, rough around the edges, just because he has so much energy. He's basically like a toddler right now, um, so I'm dealing with high energy kids basically all the time. So it's expected, but it's perfectly normal. Look at this. This is like fancy. I hope it works. Y'all want to know how much I weigh? <laughs> wow. 145. I didn't even know I weighed 145. Also, I think it'd be really funny to do this. I just want to keep it real with you. Our house has been a mess since Blue has 
uh, moved in. This is not something I thought about. I should have thought about, but I didn't. So I'm exhausted basically, but I'm going to show you what our house looks like because I think it's kind of funny. <laughs> all right, so you walk into the kitchen. This is fine. This is fine. That's all normal except the dishes. <sighs> that needs to be done. I'll probably do that after this. This, just stuff just everywhere. Um, the cutting board needs to be cleaned. We're kind of gross thinking about it stuff on the floor oh, man. laundry room okay see this is unnecessarily like this it needs to be right there laundry's caught up on though like that's nice <laughs> all right then this room everything's normal 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 Things are on the table, but that's still kind of normal. This corner. I don't really know what to do with these things. <laughs> we don't use them, so I don't really want them in our house, but I don't want to just get rid of them. I might put them in storage and course room or something. Dog bed. A stick. They're back. Bathroom looks fine. Stuff hairbrush this shoe area i just cleaned up earlier today this table is new i got this off facebook marketplace <laughs> and i need to get like more like storage or maybe just like stick them in the drawers or even like hooks to put on the wall so we can hang up his leash and collar and all that good stuff that's atrocious and this is really where the mess is. Just packages, random stuff. Toys aren't so bad. Toys is pretty normal. That though, <laughs> this just needs to get cleaned, but I'll do that after dinner. And then there's Blue himself. Our room doesn't look too bad. It's just a little cluttered, but, and that Corey needs to put his clothes away, but it'll be all right. You wanna eat dinner, Blue? You want dinner? You want to eat? No. Okay. Did you take him for a walk? Yeah. He was a perfectly good boy. Good job. Hello. I am going to try to turn this belt into a collar for Blue. Because I don't wear it. And he needs a new one because the one that he has on now, it's from it's from the shelter. It's fine, but it's not him.
simple because I had the hole puncher to make the holes. And honestly, that was like the hardest part. If I didn't have a hole puncher, I probably would have had to use either a regular sized hole puncher or a scissors or a knife or something, but that was not ideal. I bust out the sewing machine because I thought I was going to like have to like sew this part, like the tip of it. Um, but honestly, it's like holding pretty well right now and I don't really know how to do that. So I'm not gonna deal with that unless like this starts breaking apart or something, but it looks, looks fine to me. And then, like I said, that hole puncher was, was key. Um, I found that hole puncher at Scrap RVA, the place I mentioned earlier in this vlog. And it's like a, I don't even know what size hole puncher that is, but it's like perfect for belt loops because it's not a regular size like paper hole puncher. Um, it's a mini one. So that was like perfect to get the holes in there. And the holes were a little small, but it's totally fine because it stretches like the whole stretch because of the size the size of this this part what is this part called i don't know the poker the poker of the buckle <laughs> i still think it's a little too big but that's not an issue it's always better for it to be bigger than to be smaller so if anything i can just cut i can just trim it down and then maybe like add one more hole over here and it'll fit him a lot better. But I like like the thickness of it. I like that it's thick like this. And there you have it. A DIY dog collar <laughs> made out of an old thrifted belt. I'm very proud of this. It's very simple. So if you have a belt that you haven't been using in your closet and you have a dog and you want to switch up their collar or something, you could definitely do it yourself. All dependent on the material of the belt as well like if this were made out of some kind of like woven fabric i don't think it would work out as well anyways this is way too long <laughs> that is my diy dog collar <laughs>